أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dr. Zakia, I feel that the next question of all the questions that we've got to ask today will perhaps shock quite a few people. Um, the issue of a man and his wife, um, perhaps sitting on a sofa or some other place of comfort, and the husband delivers a kiss on the wife's face, let's say, for it, or the lips of the wife. Is this an action which nullifies the fast or is permitted? While fasting, if a husband kisses the wife or hugs the wife or shows his love for the wife by kissing on the cheek or the lip or the hand or hugs or embraces, all these things are permissible as long as it does not encourage him to go into an act which is haram for fasting. And this is very well stated in the Hadith of Muhammad It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari. Volume number three in the book of fasting, hadith number 1927. That Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she says that the Prophet used to kiss and embrace his wives while fasting. But he was the best amongst you to control himself. That means the Prophet had the power to control. Similarly, it's mentioned in Sunan Abu Daud, volume number two, hadith number 2379 that Umar Milla will with him once while fasting kisses his wife immediately he feels sorry and he goes to the Prophet and he says that oh Prophet I have sinned I have sinned against you and Allah so the Prophet says that what have you done he says that while fasting I have kissed my wife so the Prophet asks him that when you gargle or rinse your mouth while doing wudu does your fast break? So Omar Malawi pleased him. He said, no. So why bother? Indicating to him that you can kiss and embrace your wife. Furthermore, there's a hadith, which is mentioned in Musnad Ahmad, volume number two, hadith number 6739. One of the Sahaba, he narrates that a young man comes to Prophet Muhammad and asks him that can I kiss my wife while I'm fasting, the Prophet says, no. Later on, an old man comes to the Prophet and asks him, that can I kiss my wife while fasting? And the Prophet says, yes. So the Sahaba look amongst themselves, that how come the answer is differing? Then the Prophet replies, that this man can control himself. So the basic ruling is, that if a person knows that he can control himself after kissing or hugging his wife, and ensure that it will not lead into an act which will nullify the fast. For example, it will not lead into a sexual intercourse or will not lead into ejaculation. As long as he can control himself, kissing and hugging is permitted. If he cannot control himself and he fears that he will go into the act which will nullify the fast, like intercourse or ejaculation, then it is prohibited for him. Hmm. So the answer is yes, but it comes with a, an Islamic health warning. That's right. The next question, which is not unrelated to the last one, um, can a man approach his wife during the month of Ramadan in the evening, after the fast had ended? Previously, when fasting became fard for the Muslims, as Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 85, that Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guide for humankind. And giving you signs of guidance and judgment between right and wrong. And then it says that so whoever witnesses this month, he should fast. So when it became fard for the Muslim the first time initially, the full month of Ramadan, at that time, it was the law that approaching your wives, having a sexual intercourse with your wife for the full month of Ramadan, whether it be day or night was prohibited. And it's mentioned in the tafsir of Al-Qurtubi, volume number two, page number 210, that Omar, may Allah be pleased with him, once he spends a little bit of time with the Prophet and leaves the Prophet at night and comes to his house. 
And when he reaches the house, he has the urge to sleep with his wife. And he has intercourse. When he gets up in the morning, he is ashamed. And he goes to the Prophet and says, that I have sinned against Allah and you. So the Prophet says, why? Because I slept with my wife. My soul urged and went towards my wife. And I slept with her and had intercourse with her. The Prophet said, did you really do that? Hazrat Umar, my life him, said, yes. And Hazrat Umar says that, can you find a pardon for me? And then Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says, no one besides Allah can pardon you. He is the only one who can show you the way. And immediately the verse of the Quran of Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 187 was revealed. It says that you can approach your wives during the nights of the fast. Hunna libasul lakum, wantum libasul lahunna. Because they are your garments and you are their garments. And then the verse continues that, and Allah knows what you used to do secretly in the nights with your wives. But Allah has forgiven you. And from now onwards, you can approach your wives. And you can take what Allah gives you, the offspring from then. And you can eat and drink till the white thread of dawn is distinct from the black thread. And then you can fast until sunset until night falls. So when this verse was revealed, Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 187, then it became lawful for the Muslims to approach their wives during the nights of the fast. So now, as far the present rule is, that you cannot approach your wives, have a sexual intercourse with them during the day, right from the break of dawn, from the time of Fajr Salah up to sunset. But immediately after sunset, up to just before the break of dawn, your Fajr Salah, you can approach your wife and it's lawful and you can have a relationship with them. Wonderful. Well, that was a reiteration as well because, of course, we covered that during the uh, history of fasting. Right.